Hello friends and welcome back to She's in Her Apron. Come along with my mom and dad and I as we go shop Wegmans. I guess it's a new grocery store here. It's a chain that you guys are probably familiar with who live out here. It's new to me and there's a brand new beautiful one by them that I hear is pretty spectacular. So we're gonna go check it out. I wanna look and see what they have, compare their prices to back home, and if we need anything, we'll pick it up. But uh, we're good for right now. Mom, you said you didn't have no. really anything to buy. Mm -hmm. uh, but she has a meal that she wants to make for the family. So we're gonna have that on Thursday. Um, right now it is Monday. We're going out of town tomorrow and Wednesday to Bush Gardens in Virginia. We're gonna have a fun time. So when we get back on Thursday, we're gonna do a cook with me. It's in this video, so stay tuned. All right, let's go explore Wegmans. First impression walking in, real nice. <laughs> Coconut. Wow. Those look good, Mom. Those look good. Cheaper here than Utah. Oh my word. Look at those. Oh, look what she's making. With frosting in the middle. Are you kidding? Kind of like a whoopie pie, but with a cookie. A apricot sour cream, Mom. Oh, this smells so good. All these bagels. Oh, that looks good. What? Nothing to see here. Nothing? No? No? Lemon Danish. Yes, please. Rice Krispies, brownies, little cupcakes. Ooh, look at this. Assorted cookies. Those look good. Ah, they've got a great selection for gluten free. That's nice. Choco bites, healthy choco bites. Wow. That looks good. No. <gasps> macaroons. French macaroons assorted. No gluten. Oh, so good. Oh, you could get sub sandwiches, pizza, they'll cook it for you. And there's a burger joint, I think, down that way. Holy cow, you guys. Oh, yum. Create your own bowl. I wish Derek came with us. He would probably get one. Ooh, mom. Ooh. Boston would be like, bring me home sushi. Oh, look at all this sushi. That is amazing. Oh my goodness. Pork egg rolls. Dumplings. Vegetable fried rice. My gosh, you could just bring home, like if you wanted fast food, you don't have to go anywhere. It has everything here. Holy cow. Everything looks so good. Sweet and sour chicken, compound chicken. Sesame chicken with vegetable lo mein, that looks good. My gosh, Dad, you can get a steam pot. Yeah. <gasps> Ooh. Mm. 
Okay, so the gentleman here was saying that these lobsters are caught off of like the shores of Australia and he swears that they are sweeter than the main lobsters. So we might grab some and try it and see what we think. All the cheese. Oh. One of my favorite things about going to different stores is seeing which cheeses they have. Mmm. Yeah. Oh, look at that. What in the world? Extra creamy gorg. Fun. Fun. Oh, yeah. My mom pointed out the basil pesto. So yummy. Ooh, roasted garlic cloves. Oh, yum. Look how fun these boards are. Oh, they're gorgeous. Oh, look at this one, Mom. It has handles. That's nice. Oh, I like that. So pretty. I love the long board. I love that. Oh, these are so perfect for entertaining. Look at that. Already set up for you. Danny's favorite cheese and charcuterie full tray featuring mild brie, pecorino, reggiano bites. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right there. And brie. Oh, yum. Oh, look. You got it. This is our family cheese right here. We can't get enough of this stuff. Look, they even sell the nuggets. Oh. Well, Wegmans was really, really cool. I love their specialty booths, like all the different categories, like the cheese and the sushi and the seafood and, oh my gosh, so many. It was amazing. That part was really fun. I would say the rest of the store is pretty comparable to any grocery store, but the one area, it really was cool. I really liked being in there and um, seeing all the different cuts of meats and specialty booths that they had, like they had Asian and the bakery. Oh my gosh. It was fun. That was fun. So, um, but pretty comparable in prices. I think I said that your bananas were cheaper than ours. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just by a few cents. So it was really fun to go look and see. So I could see the hype. I really liked, it was very, it was a nice experience in there. I would definitely shop there for entertaining for sure if we were having a party so that was cool it is now friday we thought we were going to have this dinner yesterday but it is friday and mom has started peeling potatoes so as she does that i want to show you her uh recipe cabinet we're going to concentrate on this shelf here i was looking and seeing what she had the other day and she said she's got a box somewhere filled with more i would love to see that but she doesn't know where it is so there was two cookbooks I wanted to share with you. Um, well, actually three. This one, this is the best slow cooker rest cookbook ever. It's fix it, forget it recipes for entertaining. Slow cooker favorites for all year round. This one has so many good ones that you can make into freezer meals. This one is so good. So, all right, but she's got a lot of great ones in here, but my eye spy, where's that old one? Oh, right here. I saw this old one, and I was like, that kind of looks familiar. And it's falling apart, and it's old, and I was looking through it like, huh. And I'm looking at the pictures in it, these old pictures, and I'm like, am I creating a memory in the moment, or am I actually remembering this cookbook? So I took it out, and I was like, Mom, this cookbook, and she said, do you remember that? And I was like, okay, I do remember this cookbook. So this is the book where the tuna fish pie recipe I share with you, but I call it tuna pot pie for the vlogs because it sounds better than tuna fish pie. It came from this book. So I looked it up in the index and I was like, ooh, I can't wait to read the original recipe. And so I go to the page and lo and behold, it's not in there. And I said, ma, what did you do with that? And you have no idea. I think you used it so much because if you go to page, um, we could just take it out because it's out. If you go to page 93, 94, 97, it's out. But you can see how these pages are like worn and they have a lot of like drippings on it. 
And uh, you could tell this is where she went to all the time for that recipe, but it's not in there. I wanted to just read the original recipe, but this is the Farm Journal's Country Cookbook, revised enlarged edition. That was exciting to see the original book that the tuna fish pie came in. All right, and then another cookbook that caught my eye was the Busy Moms Make It Quick Cookbook. 300 tasty recipes using convenience foods. My mom really feels that I gave this to her. I just don't remember. Pretty simple, pretty simple. I'll try to find this on Amazon and leave it down below, but the recipes look super simple, really yummy. And um, she gives you a shopping list, some tips, what you could do to substitute and uh, some menu planning tips, so I don't know. It was really cool. I think you gave it to me the same year you gave me the Instapot. No, I definitely know I didn't no, do that. No, you didn't do that? Nope. No, I got you an Instapot cookbook. Remember that Christmas? And I bet, I bet maybe some of them remember I gave you this and said the Instapot got delivered to your house. So you got oh, this. That's or, right. Yeah. That's what you got. Yes. So, I don't know, this one This one caught my eye. I am gonna flip through it more before we leave here. We've been here all week and then we head to my sister's for another week, our third week out here in North Carolina. So I'm gonna look through some of these and take pictures of some of the recipes. But, and if I like the book, maybe I'll just order it. Yeah, I'll leave a link for you down below. All right, that was fun. Okay, let's cook dinner with Ma. She was really excited to share this recipe with us. Super easy and they love it. Let's make dinner with Ma. Ma is making for dinner these pork tenderloins. And these are the honey sriracha. And she has been raving about them from Prairie Fresh. Really easy, she said. You just cut it open, throw it in your casserole dishes and throw it in the oven. I love that. I love those like super easy dinners. Mm -hmm. It smells good. I love pork tenderloin too. Have you ever done it in the slow cooker or, or do you think you would like it better in the oven versus yeah, the like slow it, cooker? Yeah, I think I like, would like it better in the oven. That's going I don't on. have to cover it No. or anything, nope. Oh, 425 degrees for how long? About 34 minutes. Temperature has to be 155 um, degrees. Oh yeah, the internal temperature. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So do you want to chop, we've got to chop up those um, mm -hmm. potatoes. Yum. Okay. Mom's being a little camera shy today, which is totally fine. So I was saying, Mom, you don't use your Instant Pot to do your mashed potatoes? And she's like, no. And I'm like, Mom, so easy. Let me show you. That's what we're doing right now. We peeled the potatoes, and now we're just gonna quarter them and get them in this pot. We'll put maybe a half a cup to a cup of water, and then we'll put it in here 12 minutes, and then we can take this all out, drain the water, and start mashing and adding your butter and your milk and all that fun stuff. Ma is draining cans of, well not even draining, putting it all in, corn. I love corn from a can drizzled in salt and butter. Mm hmm Especially with mashed potatoes. Lots of butter. Lots of butter. Lots of butter. Kids eat broccoli. Oh yeah, my kids love broccoli. I wanna know, are your kids broccoli eaters? My kids are, and they like to put um, ranch on it. Derek's trying to get them into mayo on it. <laughs> How he grew up, we grew up with mom cooking it pretty dead. 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 It was pretty limp and smothered with butter. So I'm just quartering these potatoes up. And are you doing frozen broccoli? Yep. Just steaming frozen broccoli. I don't remember you using frozen broccoli a lot when I was a kid. No. I never did. Never? No, because um, we used it fast enough. You know? Yeah. Now, I don't use because there's not that many kids. We have all one that I just use frozen, so it doesn't go to waste. Yeah. Do you have a nifty steamer? Yes. Oh. 
I need a new steamer. My machine broke. See this one here. Oh, what do you got? Oh, what is that? A stove top steamer. See? Oh, okay. So you just put your water in there. I put the water in there and, and put that on your stove. Put it on the stove. Oh, and it's got the holes at the bottom. Oh, well, that's nifty. Instead of buying like a whole other machine. Yeah. So you could do broccoli on one and like carrots or something. Right. Brussels sprouts or something. Yeah. That's nifty. Where'd you find that? I, do, I had it in. I had it in Massachusetts. Really? But yeah, but I used um, a small one before. Did you have that when I was living in Massachusetts? Because no. I don't remember you using anything like this. No. Wow, that's I really used, cool. Um, I, oh, I gave it to Michaela. Mm -hmm. It was the kind that folds up. Okay. And you, it opened up and it sat in a pan. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The steel. The, yeah, the, the metal one. Yeah. yeah the metal one. And yep. it, 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 you fold it down and then it opened up. Yep. And you put your broccoli in there. Mm. But I like this one because no, you yeah. can use two different vegetables. Mm -hmm. I remember getting one of those as a wedding gift, but I like I didn't really care for it. Well, that is neat, Mom. I'm going to have to keep my eye out for something yeah. like that. So sweet. All right, broccoli yep. is starting to steam. She's got her corn. We have the pork in there. And then I'm going to finish up on these potatoes. Once this gets to pressure, it's only 12 minutes. Yeah, I love doing them in here, Mom. It, like, clears the stove space. Mm hmm I think we're going to fit that whole bag in here. Well, that's good. I was worried we weren't. You have the smaller... This could be the six quart. I don't know. We I don't know. I know. I don't remember. I don't remember. Yeah. I got this on an Amazon um, Prime Day deal. Yeah, yeah. How many years ago was that? That was a long time ago. I don't know how many years ago that was. Maybe, maybe about four years ago. And that same year I got Ashley one and Seth one. Oh, cool. I'm not even measuring. Like, I couldn't even tell you. I'm just probably gonna put whatever this little cup is. Maybe just a little more. Did we start a timer? Hmm? Did we start a timer on the pork? Oh, I kind of know, I know, kinda you know, know when it's done. Okay, so I'm, yeah. I'm gonna salt these a little. Just put whatever amount of water in, Mom. Mm -hmm. And then, and then high pressure, 12 minutes. And we've got potatoes. So my parents have these bird feeders that they just stick to their window and all these gorgeous birds come and eat from it. <laughs> but there's this squirrel. We had to move this one closer. This one was more over here. But the squirrel started climbing the side of their house and just camped in it and actually held its weight. So I heard it this morning and like banged on the window. So my dad moved it further this way. They haven't figured it out yet to climb on this side. But they are such pretty birds here. All these orange and red cardinals and all these little birds I have not seen. So maybe we could catch a bird to come to the window. But they ate a lot. And I noticed a lot of the same birds, Mom, usually come to the window. So it's fine. We just sit here and you could watch the birds. So the other night we were sitting at the table playing cards and I'm looking at my mom's curtains and I'm like, hmm. And I said, mom, do I know these curtains? And she's like, uh-huh, these are the curtains that I had in my house growing up. Yeah, isn't that cool? She held on to them. They didn't fit a few of the places she's lived since then. But she took them out when she moved into this house. And uh, I'm like, oh my gosh. If these curtains could talk. <laughs> Seriously. Oh my word. <laughs> right? I love that you kept them. Yeah. Mm. 
We had family dinner every night. Just about. Just about. So when you worked outside the home and you were doing dinner, did Grammy help start it? How did that go? Because, I mean, I was at after school sports with cheering and stuff. How did that go with you? Um, yeah, she would start it. We did a lot of crock pot. Oh. You know, crock mm -hmm. pot meals because of course the Instant Pot wasn't out at the time. You know, I'd take the roast up, I'd tell her what time to put it in the oven. Always do good about having dinner on the table. And so I would say a majority of the weeknights there was there was a dinner waiting. If she was working or not working, there was dinner. And uh, always at the table. We always sat together as a family at the table. No one was on the couch or bring dinner into their room. It was very at the table. And um, yeah, that's what I remember a lot growing up. Dinner at the table. You know, even if us siblings were getting along or not getting along, <laughs> we had dinner and we were together as a family. And we ate family style. So all the dishes, all the entrees and sides were at the table and were passed around. I noticed that with Derek's family and that we started to do as well is that everything is just on the counter and you get up and, and serve yourself then go sit down. So I, I, I have noticed that with his family it's more that way and our family it's more family style pass along. So it's, it's fun to see what you do. We're, we're a mix of both. We'll do both depending on what it is um, on the weeknights when we have dinner just depends. Were we picky eaters? Were, were any of us picky eaters? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Seth was, his food couldn't touch each other. Oh yes, he could Seth's plate. Seth is the third. You know, Jonah's kinda like that, but Jonah will eat one thing at a time. So that's what he'll do, one thing at a time. She got the Pioneer Woman napkins. My mom really likes the Pioneer Woman. She has Quite a few of her things. Mm -hmm. Her cookbook stand. Is this hers too? Yes. Oh. Her spoon holder, her butter tray, and her utensils jar. All right, the other table, children, the grown up table. We, we didn't grow up with the dining room, we just had one. Big yeah, one big kitchen table. So now my mom over the years now has had a dining room and I'm so jealous. And she has the salt and pepper shakers as well. Oh my gosh, my mom just showed me this platter. This is my Grammys, her mom's. I remember this. Oh my goodness. Oh yes. Oh, and there was bowls of that. I know it, but I oh, don't have those anymore. I remember. This one's chipped, but I kept it. See, I have that one too. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Willow wear? Yes. And I have this oh, one. Oh, mom. I'm not rushing you. Come on, you. Hmm. Pioneer woman bowls I have. Do you have her bowls too? Yeah. The She's ones that cool. I have in the gravy. You have so many of her things. So I'm gonna butter some bread. I went in the cupboard and pulled out the bread and a memory came flooding back of how we would always have buttered bread a lot of the time with meals that we had. We went through a lot of bread growing up. How often do you think you were buying bread? A lot. I mean, you made homemade bread, but not very I often. I homemade bread and I made bread that we froze, bought bread and we froze it. But I can only imagine with us kids how much bread we went through. My mother used to go to the Wonder Bread store to get the day old bread uh -huh. for 10 cents a loaf. She'd, buy, she'd buy 20 at a time for the week. Oh wow. 20 cents a loaf? Yeah. That would be awesome if that was still how it was. 12 okay. kids. We need I mean, tw 12 kids. You guys went through hey, a lot of bread. Hey, what we're gonna eat. I don't know how she did. Did she ever make bread with all you kids? Nope. Never. Um, wow. I think, my, I, think I seen either her or my grandmother make it once or twice. But nothing on a regular thing. Wow. Well, I used the rest of the bread that we brought. So if the kids would like some, we'll put some on their table. Well, you know what I hope the was for you? We took this 
putt flavor off the cast iron stove. It was just a round thing. Uh -huh. You take that off and you put it on one of the burners and heat it up and you put the toast on it and flip it over like a, like a pancake. Oh, That's how yeah. we made our toast. Oh, how funny. Well, you gotta do what you gotta do. Well, friends, thank you so much for joining me today. This whole week at my mom and dad's house has been so much fun. We've enjoyed each other's company and all of Ma's yummy cooking. Join me in my next video where I'm gonna be at my sister's house making some freezer meals with her and shopping at Aldi's. Thanks for tuning in, we'll see you soon, bye.